ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 10th of February. James Spann here. And uh, all of the ingredients coming together for some very active weather uh, tonight. Off to the west and tomorrow. Around here, a reminder, Storm Alert 2009 rolls along this week. We're in Jasper, the CHS building downtown, Thursday night at 7. We hope to see you there. Hey, check that out. That was the sun rise this morning coming from the Gadsden Sky Camp. Thought that was awfully nice. Captured uh, during our uh, Good Morning Alabama newscast. This afternoon, the sky from Tuscaloosa, generally cloudy there. A little bit of light rain in parts of West Alabama. Birmingham Metro, that's the uh, Shelby County sky, came in Inverness on top of the Wingate Inn looking southeast. A few thin spots in the cloud cover, and again today very mild and kind of the calm before the storm. Well, there's the deal. The uh, lead wave is up there over Minnesota, way north of us. The second wave is digging down through the four corners, producing heavy snow for the southern Rockies, and that will be an, uh, producing an active weather day for Alabama tomorrow. In advance of that, Hey, it's warm all the way up to, look at that, uh, 50s up into Michigan. Looks like Chicago flirting with 60 today and 70s all across the Gulf Coast region. Here's a look at the Alabama conditions at uh, 2 o'clock. Gadsden, 70. Most other folks are uh, hovering in the upper 60s. Warm spot down south, Montgomery, they've got 73. There's the radar at uh, 135, and that's a little light rain in scattered spots over West Alabama. And uh, we'll continue the chance of a little light rain or isolated showers. But again, the big deal is coming up tomorrow. Uh, but tonight, the big deal is off to the west. You can see the first tornado watch of the day over Texas and Oklahoma. A lot of wind advisories out across the deep south. Flash flood watch for parts of Missouri and Illinois. And winter storm warnings up for the southern Rockies. Here's that box, uh, the new tornado box until 8 o'clock tonight. That is the eighth tornado watch of the year. You can see a few supercells developing southwest of Oak City. And all of that will be increasing and moving on to the east. Peak at the instability out there, surface base Cape 2500, just north of the Red River. And the significant tornado parameter maxed out in about that same general area south of Oklahoma City. So our pals in North Texas and southern Oklahoma will have quite a ride for the next several hours. Here's the uh, convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. A moderate risk for that region, roughly from Dallas-Fort Worth and Oklahoma City over to Little Rock and Shreveport. A slight risk as far north as St. Louis. Tomorrow, there's our risk. Uh, now, the guys at Norman have really trimmed this thing back. They've cut off the southern end of it. A slight risk for the northern half of the state. South Alabama now out of the risk. And the probabilities have come down. Uh, this morning, uh, they were at 45%. Now, they're at 30%. And those higher probabilities are running from the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama north up into Ohio, where the better dynamic forcing will be, uh, a 15% probability down to uh, the central part of Alabama. So uh, we'll kind of look at modeling here in just a moment. There's the QPF chart for the next five days, valid through Sunday morning. This would be the rain tomorrow and the rain that falls Friday and Friday night, suggesting about one inch here. And I believe that looks pretty good. Well, this is the 12Z GFS at uh, midday tomorrow. There's your digging shortwave. Powerhouse-looking system there, negative tilt. Everything looks good. Surface low is north of us. Uh, it's uh, really between Chicago and Indianapolis, under 1,000 millibars. Take a look at the instability. The uh, wharf here continues to ramp up a little bit. Instability values are higher on each run, now suggesting we could see uh, surface-based capes in, uh, in the 500-joule range, maybe a bit higher around here. That's not, you know, that's not like April, understands. It's still, it could be worse, but uh, that's certainly significant. And there's the screaming helicity. Uh, this is the 0 to 3-kilometer helicity. And you can see the uh, max there from uh, really uh, North Alabama around Coleman up into Tennessee and Kentucky. Uh, so we'll just see how this whole thing plays out. I think there's no doubt we have to mention severe storms tomorrow. The main idea would be a, a squall line with damaging straight line winds. Could be a few isolated tornadoes in there. We'll see. Be an active day tomorrow. Thursday, it's all gone. Sunny day, a mild day, highs in the 60s, no Arctic air. Friday, here comes the next impulse with rain moving in during the day. Looks like periods of rain Friday and Friday night, but Saturday, rain out of here. Rain ending during the pre-dawn hours. Saturday morning looks like a, a partly sunny day, and Sunday looks good. Uh, highs over the weekend, uh, more than likely low 60s, although this run looks like it might be a little cooler on Sunday. 
Uh, Monday of next week, the weather stays dry, but Tuesday, here comes the next short wave and that fast flow across the southern U.S. And uh, this time, the surface low develops in the northern Gulf down there below New Orleans. So uh, this certainly is no severe weather look, if that's right. And if we had cold air, by golly, that'd be a good snowstorm. But there's no real cold air this time. We'll dig deeper into voodoo country the 22nd of February. Good looking short wave there. That looks wet. Maybe a brief change to snow on the backside, but uh, no snowstorm if that's right. And on the 26th, the end of the cycle, uh, again, uh, digging short wave off to the west. Modeling just all over the board out here. But remember, the NAO goes pretty strongly negative out here. I don't think that's right. I think the end of the month could be pretty cold. But uh, time will tell. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog, alabamawx.com, if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.